Cricket. It's a sport that dates back over 400 years, and as of 2019, it is officially played in 104 countries around the world. But cricket's popularity is starting to take a hit, and things are especially bad in the country of its birth, the UK. Ratings there have fallen off a cliff, less people are playing the sport, and attendance at traditional test cricket matches is falling. Part of the problem, you can no longer watch cricket on TV for free in the UK. In 2005, the sport became a pay-to-watch event on TV, when the England Cricket Board sold the broadcasting rights to Sky Sports. By selling out to Sky Sports, whilst that brought a lot of money into the game for the clubs and the ECB, it killed the television audience. Um, and since that day, we've seen attendances decline, we've seen participation decline, um, we've seen you know the sport really struggle to generate the next generation of fans and players. Another problem, attention spans appear to be getting shorter. Traditional games known as test matches last for five days, and cricket enthusiasts just aren't as patient as they used to be. So you are asking people to give up a lot of their leisure time, um, and we know that working commitments are higher in the UK now than ever before. People are being asked to work more and have, have less disposable income and free time, so that, that's a big factor as well with a sport like cricket. But there is one country where cricket is more popular than ever, India. Cricket's worldwide fan base is comprised of roughly 1 billion people, and the Indian subcontinent alone makes up 90% of those fans. In India, the country adopted a brand new, shorter format of the game that has drastically cut down on playing time from days to hours. The Indian Premier League, or the IPL, has only been around for 12 years, but it's fast become one of the most popular and valuable cricket leagues on the planet. The IPL's brand value has nearly doubled in the last five years. In 2018, the league was valued at $6.3 billion. It rakes in $510 million each year from its broadcasting rights deal, making it the only cricket league in the world to crack the top 20 most valuable media rights deals in all of professional sports, joining the ranks of the NFL, the NBA, and MLB. So how did the IPL become one of the most lucrative cricket leagues on the planet? And could this surge in popularity engineer a turnaround for cricket on the world stage? The first record of cricket being played as an adult sport was in 1611 in England. The sport started to take shape in the 17th century, and by 1709, it was recognized as a legitimate pro sport. This was about the time that professional village cricketers were hired to join county teams. By the early 18th century, cricket was the leading sport in London and other counties across England. Because of the reach of the British Empire, the sport took root around the world. When it came to the uh, British Empire, and when it came to uh, Britain colonizing the world, cricket was seen as a way potentially of civilizing the world. Uh, cricket has a, a series of mores, has a series of codes of conduct, such as walking when the, when the umpire gives you out. Uh, there was an element as well of muscular Christianity, but healthy exercise was very, very good. As early as the 17th century, cricket was being played in English colonies in North America, and during the 18th century, colonists introduced cricket to the West Indies and Australia, while mariners from Britain's East India Trading Company brought the game to India. In the 19th century, New Zealand and South Africa also began to play the sport. Over the years, cricket has evolved into three different formats, Test Cricket, One Day, and 2020. The Test Cricket format debuted in 1877. These matches last five days. One day cricket started back in 1971, and as the name implies, cricket matches conclude within a single day. And in 2003, 2020 was established. 2020 is a streamlined version of cricket that allows for faster gameplay and more scoring. 2020 games typically wrap up in about three hours. Each version of cricket has leagues around the world, but 2020 is the most popular format of the game today. And in India, it created its own 2020 league in 2007 when it rolled out the Indian Premier League. In India, cricket is huge. It's been a staple in Indian sports since the 1700s, and it's currently the most popular sport in the country. The IPL is one of the richest sports properties in the world. And while the IPL isn't the only cricket league in India, it is the most successful league in the country. The 48-day annual tournament was created in 2007 with the help of the Board of Control for Cricket in India and Indian businessman Lalep Modi. Even though cricket already had a few pro cricket leagues, they wanted to capitalize on the commercial success of 2020, so they modeled the IPL in a similar nature to pro sports in the US. The IPL was specifically modeled after the likes of the NFL, 
which has a decentralized league, meaning that all teams are owned and operated independently. Also similar to the NFL model, the IPL is its own league with its own unique structure. There is a separate T20 World Cup where India competes, but that's different from the IPL. Even though matches are all held in India, team rosters are chock full of top international talent. In 2018, team spent $94 million to buy 169 players in an auction, up from its $14 million for 66 players in 2017. But what you've actually got in the IPL are franchises who represent uh, a city, uh, a place, an industrial heartland, and you've got, therefore, the support of some major entrepreneurs. So rather than, let's say, Delhi against North Zone, you've got your IPL franchises based around the cities, and that has actually had a massive impact in terms of global cricket. To make sure the stands are filled with as many IPL fans as possible and to maximize TV viewership, matches are typically played in the evening and on weekends. The IPL is a huge moneymaker in India. Since 2014, the IPL's brand valuation has doubled to $6.3 billion. The reason? The IPL has one of the largest fan bases for a single sports league in the world. During its opening week of the 2018 season, the IPL broke records when 371 million viewers tuned in to watch. And by the last week of the tournament, a total of 769 million fans watched the 2018 IPL season. The ad revenue generated for that season was over $276 million, according to Star India's managing director. High ratings and ad dollars were a big part of why major US media companies had their eyes on IPL's broadcasting rights. When the IPL launched in 2008, the league issued media rights to Singapore-based sports marketing agency, World Sport Group. They broadcasted IPL matches on India's Sony Max TV channel. Under the terms of the 10-year contract, World Sport Group paid the IPL approximately $1 million per match in its first year for the exclusive broadcasting rights. The overall value of that broadcasting deal was $918 million. When the broadcasting deal expired in 2017, there was a global bidding war for exclusive rights for the IPL. Fox and Sony put in competing bids, while Facebook also put its hat in the ring for the 2018-2022 digital rights of the IPL, making a $600 million offer. Those TV and digital rights eventually went to Fox. The American broadcaster struck a five-year $2.55 billion deal for the global media rights of the IPL. The price per match jumped from $1 million to about $8.47 million per game. For comparison, the NFL cost per game is around $22.5 million. The English Premier League is around $13.2 million. The NBA is close to $2 million, and the MLB is just $630,000 per game. Just two years after the ink dried on the Fox IPL deal, Disney completed a $71 billion deal for Fox Entertainment's assets. One of the assets that Disney now owns is Hotstar, the Indian video streaming company. In 2019, that streaming service set a global record for the number of people tuning into a live streaming event. There were 18.6 million concurrent viewers watching the IPL's final match on Hotstar's website and app. And with that kind of viewership, naming rights for the IPL are also huge for the league. Since 2008, the IPL's naming rights have changed hands three times from brands DLF to PepsiCo India, and finally to Vivo, a mobile handset manufacturer in China. Vivo first took over title sponsorship in 2015, and in 2017, Vivo signed a fresh five-year deal with the IPL worth approximately $341 million. In 2018, the average salary of cricket players in the IPL jumped nearly 30% from the year before, all thanks to the massive TV deal signed with Fox in 2017. Before that deal, players across the league had an average salary of $3.9 million. But in 2018, the average salary was just over $5 million. And unlike other major sports leagues, the IPL season is so short that players have a chance to bank even more cash in the offseason. The IPL takes place in the spring, starting at the end of March or early April, and continuing through May. That means cricketers have the flexibility to play for other clubs around the world. Take the Mumbai Indians player Kieran Pollard. In 2017, he earned more than $1 million for two months that he played for the Mumbai Indians in the IPL. In that same year, Pollard had multiple revenue streams from playing for cricket leagues in Australia, Bangladesh, and South Africa. But just as cricket first spread across the world in the 18th century, 
Cricket's latest format of 2020 is similarly taking root across the globe. There's even a record-breaking investment for a 2020 league in a country where cricket isn't even remotely popular, the US. In May 2019, USA Cricket received a $1 billion investment from American Cricket Enterprises to develop a 2020 league in America. It's one of the biggest deals for development of domestic cricket in the US, and the launch of the league is set to take off in 2021. Since the 2020 cricket format was introduced in 2003, it has taken the cricket world by storm, and it doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon.